Hi, I'm Eileen Luby. Welcome to Inside Lake Forest, where you can learn more about Lake Forest, your hometown. Today we're going to be visiting with Helanders, who's had a long generation of transformation in this community. Let's step inside. Hi, Hi. Eileen. Good to hey, see Chuck. you. Thank you so much for Thank having for us coming. today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Chuck Helander, owner of Helanders. Along with my wife, Mary Lee. Excellent. And now our son, Casey, is also in the business. So An Another family business in Lake Forest. That's right. Chuck, will you tell us a little bit about the history? I mentioned that Helanders has been here for 86 years. I do have, I have some photos, and I'll get, show you these. My grandfather, Axel, was uh, a chauffeur in town. He emigrated from Finland back during the turn of the century, and uh, he was a tinker. He loved to do things with his hands. And when radio first came on the scene back in the early 20s, he installed and put up a, an antenna for radio for the family he was working for, the Schweppes in town. And every time they'd have a dinner party, their guests would come in the library and stand around this beautiful thing that was just a miracle of the time where you could actually hear people talking in Chicago all the way here in Lake Forest. Wow. So he, uh, their guests said, we'd like one of those. So my grandfather became very, very busy installing and, and uh, creating radios for people all through town. In 1922, he thought, well, maybe I'd rather do that than being a chauffeur. So he established the Lake Forest Radio Company at that point. And, um, and that, where was the business located at that time? We were above uh, on Western Avenue up on the second floor. It was a small, very small area. Uh, basically, it was a showroom for the radios, and he would have people come in, choose what they wanted. Then he had to go down, actually construct them, and then install them in the homes. So wow. it was it was quite different than it is today. There were no stores that sold ready-made radios. Um, the Great Depression hit, of course, in 29, and he owed more money to Zenith Radio than he had. He had taken in, though, a printing press in trade on a radio at one point, and he had been an apprentice printer back in Finland before he uh, hmm. emigrated here. So he went down to Zenith and said, how about if I pay you guys off by doing some odd job printing? Oh. They agreed to that, and he took in some other work from town, and that's, that's how we got in the stationery business. Wow, talk about a jack of all trades. <laughs> and he s certainly gave you some talents here to run a, such a wonderful business. Well, what he did is, is uh, the ability to, uh, to follow our own interests. And uh, from radios, we brought in phonograph records and phonographs, and even we even sold refrigerators at one point uh, towards the end of the 30s. And then my dad, Orvo, came into business, and he, he was reluctant to come in. He was always a musician. He loved mm -hmm. music, and that's what he thought he wanted to do. But he went off to war in uh, 1940, 41, and um, he came back having had a long time to think about what did he want to do with his life mm -hmm. and decided that the family business wasn't so bad. So he came back and uh, that's where he got involved with and really expanded it, much more office supplies and, and other things and greeting cards. We didn't have greeting cards until then. So he was following his interest as well in the business, mm -hmm. and that was very good. And when did Helanders move to its present location here today? 1948. We had been uh, in about six other places in town, uh, and this opened up. This had been, first of all, a, uh, the post office in Market Square uh, when the square was first developed in 1916. We had the bank, of course, where Marshall Fields was, and we were the post office. Mm -hmm. And then when the post office moved into its present building, uh, National Tea Food Store opened up here, and this was a food store for many years. And then in 48, we took it over, and we've been here ever since. Wow, what a great history. Now, tell me a little bit about what Helanders offers our residents today. Well, again, it, it follows our interests. We have, uh, we've carried on a number of the lines. We no longer sell refrigerators. That, that uh, <laughs> disappeared a few years ago. But we do have uh, office supplies, uh, greeting cards, artist materials, a lot of gifts. And uh, uh, basically, though, we're a stationer. We sell stationery for uh, either that you can buy and imprint yourself or we had to do a great business in uh, personalized stationery and my wife Mary Lee heads that up. Well I can certainly attest I've had wonderful experience shopping here on all of your different lines including the office supplies as Thank well. You. And your office supply location is located you have a warehouse location in Lake Bluff? Yeah we uh, we actually started about 12 years ago a company called Helanders Hotline and the idea was to be able to deliver uh, office supplies to the local offices and other businesses mm -hmm. and uh, we realized our truck was running back and forth all day anyway taking things for the store and so we started developing this uh, hotline which is where you can call up and we'll deliver to your place of business same day or at worst case next day. It's always hard when you find out you've run out of paper. <laughs> or an ink cartridge. Or an ink cartridge, <laughs> absolutely. 
And in terms of secrets of this business, do you have any secrets you'd like to share with our community? You know, family business is somewhat unusual in that you've got family and business involved. Um, it's uh, something that you got to love, and I must say I love it, and I must say it's great that Mary Lee loves it probably even more than I do. And we've been lucky enough uh, as your family to have the, the next generation come in and uh, say we want to be part of that, and that's just, just been great for us. That's wonderful. It is a special relationship that you do share, absolutely. Really, the most important thing is the support that the community has given us over the years. Uh, we are very much a local business. Everything we do is, is aimed at Lake Forest, although we have now just opened a, uh, a second store in Lake Bluff in the past year. Uh, it's much smaller. It's uh, much more focused on the needs of Lake Bluff, uh, but that's really our niche is to find out what our customers want, what they need, and to provide it to them. Helanders is certainly a business that strives to achieve the needs and reach the needs of all of their residents by carrying all sorts of lines. And I think that's important for us to realize and without our local businesses, where would we be today? Helanders is open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5.30, and Sundays, 11 to 4. Please stop by and visit them or on their website, www.helanders.com. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. And we visited Helanders today, and we look forward to seeing you here.